This video introduces the cross-section tools in LeapFrogWorks. We'll start by looking at the different types of cross-sections that can be created, then create a new cross-section, create a section layout, edit the layout, save, and finally we'll export a cross-section. The options available for creating cross-sections can be found by right-clicking on the Cross-Sections and Contours folder in the project tree. We can import an existing cross-section from an image, create a new cross-section in LeapFrog, create a new fence section along an existing or new polyline, create a series of sections parallel with each other, or create a new alignment serial section perpendicular to a polyline. We'll go through each option in further detail over the next couple of minutes. A new cross-section from image lets you import an existing cross-section into the LeapFrog project in image form. Images can be imported using the following formats. Files with existing georeferencing data can be imported directly into LeapFrogWorks, or if the georeferencing data is incorrect, it can also be modified. Files without georeference data can also be georeferenced using three known points inside LeapFrogWorks. We can create new cross sections within LeapFrogWorks. If you have a model or surface in your project that you would like to create a cross section through, Drag that model into the scene and slice through at the location where you'd like the cross-section using the slicer tool. Then right-click on the cross-sections and contours folder and select new cross-section. In the new cross-section window, we can edit the location, width, height, dip, and dip azimuth. The new section can be aligned along the east-west axis or along the north-south axis. If an object is in the scene, the default size of the cross-section will be based on that object. The cross-section in the scene is labeled with F and B, which stands for front and back. The front side will be displayed on the cross-section. This can be changed in the new cross-section window by clicking Swap Front. To create the new cross-section, click OK. A new fence section can be created along a new or existing polyline. The top and bottom extents of the sections can be edited. A new serial section creates a series of cross-sections offset from a base section. The location, width, height, dip, and dip azimuth of the base section can be edited. Then in the lower half of the window, the spacing of the offset sections, as well as the distance away from the base section forwards and backwards can be set. A new alignment serial section can be created perpendicular to a new or existing polyline. The width, height, and location of the center of the section relative to the polyline can be defined. In the lower half of the window, the chainage spacing if using the entire polyline, as well as the start and end chainage, if only using a section of the polyline, can be edited. Now we're going to create a new cross-section inside LeapFrog Works. We will drag the lake or a geological model into the scene and put a slice through the model where we would like to create the cross-section. Right-click on the cross-sections and contours folder and select New Cross-Section. Use the in-scene toggles to define the extents of the section and ensure that the front of the section is set to the correct side. We can also use the little buttons to select either an east-west or north-south section. And click OK to create the cross-section. This creates a flat section which we will need to evaluate our geological model and tunnel design onto. Right-click on the cross-section in the project tree and select Evaluations. This will allow us to choose the models we'd like to display on the cross-section. Select the geological model by double-clicking on it, then click OK. Right-click on the cross-section again and select Evaluate Surface. Choose the tunnel design and click OK. Finally, right-click on the cross-section again and select Evaluate Lines. Choose the tunnel alignment and click OK. The blank cross-section in the scene can be updated to display the evaluated model or models or surface by changing the display from flat color to lake or a geological model or tunnel design in the scene list. Now that we've evaluated our geological model onto the section, we can create a new section layout. Right click on the cross section in the project tree and select new section layout. The new section layout window gives options for editing the scale, including the ratio of project units and the vertical exaggeration, the general page properties, including the page size and orientation, and which evaluated models and surfaces to display on the cross-section. Click Select Models and tick the checkbox next to the geological model that we evaluated onto the section in the project tree earlier. Click Select Surfaces and select the tunnel design. 
and click Select Lines and select the tunnel alignment. Once selected, the models, surfaces, and lines will be displayed on the cross section in the background. The Section Layout Editor is intuitive to use. To change the size of an object in the section, click on it once and use the toggles on the corners to change the size. The scale will be automatically adjusted to match. To move an object on the section, click on it once and drag it to the preferred location. When an object is clicked in the section layout, the relevant area in the layout tree will also be selected. For example, by clicking on the legend in the section, the legend group will be highlighted in the layout tree. The layout tree on the left side of the window shows the different layers that can be added to the cross section. And the object attributes window displays additional options for the selected object in the layout tree. The section preview window shows a dynamic view of the section that is updated whenever changes are made in either of the other windows. The layout tree contains several folders. The page folder gives settings to change the page size, orientation, and margins. The section folder gives options to change the overall layout of the section on the page, as well as allowing the user to choose which models, boreholes, and surfaces to display on the section. To use the subfolders, right-click on the subfolder and select Add. As an example, boreholes can be added to any of our section layouts, including the fence section layouts. To add the boreholes to this layout, right-click on boreholes, select Add Boreholes. And then we can select a borehole table that might be interesting to display and click OK. In the next window, we are able to filter the boreholes by their location relative to the section, and then selectively choose which to include. I'll check the box at the top to include all the holes, and then click OK. And we can change the display options for the boreholes to make the labels easier to read. The Legend Group folder shows options for editing the display of the legend in the section preview window. Displays for separate models or surfaces in the legend are available by highlighting the individual model or surface under the legend group folder. The annotation folder gives options for adding annotations to the section. The first four annotation types, title, title block, scale bar, and location, can be clicked on to bring up additional display options in the object attributes window. Each has a visible checkbox, which can be turned on or off. The last two annotation types, text boxes and images need to be specifically added to the cross section. To do this, right click on either folder and select add. Once a text box or image has been added to the cross section, you can right click on it and select add arrow. When you're happy with the layout that you've created, the section can be saved inside the LeapfrogWorks project by clicking the save button in the top toolbar. Cross sections can also be saved and exported for use outside a LeapfrogWorks project. Click the Save and Export button in the top toolbar to bring up the Export Section Layout window. The section can be exported as a PDF, SVG, PNG, or TIFF. If the section is exported as a TIFF, it will be georeferenced to allow for importing into other software packages. Cross sections can also be exported directly from the project tree in LeapfrogWorks. Right click on the cross section layout you would like to export, and then select Export Layout. The same options for export are available as those in the section editing window.